Right guys, we have new reports regarding the release and also weird connectors on the M2 iPad Pros and so let's delve into it. So let's first begin with Makatakara's reports. They tell us these new iPads are going to have the same housing design and chassis design as the current version but instead we could see four pin connectors on the top and bottom side edges of this iPad that could be used for powering peripherals that connect to the USB-C port. Now to be honest I'm pretty confused confused by this report, especially the positionings of the connector because the top and bottom side edges is a very odd position for a connector so I do wonder what kind of accessory is going to connect to these new connectors. It's also unclear whether these connectors are replacing the current 3-pin smart connector on the back. In fact, there is no smart connector with the renders that recently leaked and so I did think that meant accessories would connect via MagSafe but maybe that's not going to be the case. Either way, this does likely mean we're going to see new Magic Keyboards with these iPads, and that's not great for those who, of course, spent tons of money on the current Magic Keyboards and can't use it with the M2 version, but of course, I'm hoping Apple does give us actual improvements with the Magic Keyboard 2, such as better material choice, an actual function row, and also maybe one additional port. And actually, because the connectors are on the side of the iPads, maybe the Magic Keyboards actually clips onto the side instead of the back, giving you protection around the sides of the iPads, since right now with the current Magic Keyboards, the sides are exposed and can easily be scratched. And by the way, I do want to mention that with iPadOS 16, there is support for driver kits, and so device makers can create drivers for the iPads, and so maybe this comes into play for the accessories that connect to the connectors on the top and bottom side edges. And actually one more thing guys, but with the 2021 iPad Pros, Maxakara shared renders, which had very similar 4-pin connectors on the sides. And this turned out to be the millimeter wave antennas for the M1 iPad Pros. And so that could be the case once again with this report, where they're mistaking new millimeter wave antennas for of course new connectors. Now regarding the release, we do have a Korean source telling us, as expected, we should see the M2 iPad Pros launch at an October event, but there is some bad news regarding the supply chain because there has been a power outage in parts of China where they make these iPads, and if power does not return by August 20, there is a chance new iPads face supply constraints. And actually, some of you guys might remember the M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro was massively delayed and backordered for weeks at launch, and so that could be the case with the M2 iPads. Make sure to buy it ASAP as soon as it launches. Also, I do want to mention there is a weird tidbit regarding the M2 iPads getting a K video. Now, this I don't see panning out because we're not rumored to get the iPhone 14 Pro sensor with this iPad, and so without that, there is really no possibility this gets AK video. But also, of course, this is pointless on the iPads, and I don't think many consumers are really wanting that. Like, if anything, a more complex camera on the back is going to give us a massive camera bump on the iPads, and I think that's more of an inconvenience for iPad users, especially those who don't use a case and lay the iPads flat when drawing with a pencil, so of course, a massive camera bump would be a massive nuisance. In fact, I wish the cameras on the iPads were an optional extra because I would definitely prefer a completely flat iPad on the back and not have a large camera bump because I cannot remember the last time I actually used the cameras on the iPads. Anyways, we have another tidbit that actually makes sense and this is regarding the base storage. So of course right now we have 128 gigs of base storage. That's been the case since the 2020 refresh, but now there's rumors that Apple could double the base storage with the M2 models. Now, like I said, this does make sense because number one, we're gonna see a storage increase with the 14 Pros, and the last time the iPhone Pros and the iPad Pros got a storage increase was actually in the same year with the A12Z iPad Pros, and the iPhone 12 Pro series, and so Apple doing this again with the 14 Pros and these M2 iPad Pros definitely makes sense. But also you might remember there was some massive controversy regarding the base M2 Max using a single 256GB NAND chip instead of 228 NANDs, 
And so yeah, Apple clearly does not have a ton of stock of these 128 gig NANs. And so with this iPad essentially reusing the M2 Mac motherboards, I do think Apple's also gonna bring those slower NAN chips to the iPads. And actually, since the base storage was 128 gig on the M1 models, having a single 256 NAND might actually be a massive upgrade, even if you do get slower speeds. However, I would not be surprised if, of course, Apple does also give us a price increase to justify the storage increase. Since that's what Apple's doing with the 14 Pros, and ultimately with inflation and component prices increasing massively, I would not be surprised if we do see a price increase. Anyways, let's delve into your comments regarding the M2 iPad Pro refresh. So Backpack says, Anyone who uses the iPad like a MacBook should just get a MacBook. A notch would be a massive downgrade considering this is a tablet and is used in both orientations. And yes, I completely agree with this. The notch would be ridiculous on the iPads. The bezel situation is completely fine with the iPads. It's the perfect size since we do need somewhere to rest our fingers when using the iPads. And so yes, please Apple, do not mess with it. It's perfect as is. So Opus Digital Audio says, Apple needs to fix the magic keyboards where you can put the pencil in the hinge for transports. And yes, there's been patents I believe for this. And I do think this would be a great addition for a magic keyboard pro that of course, Apple could launch with the M2 iPads. And yes, I do think there's gonna be a pro variant since we are expecting the budget iPads possibly gaining magic keyboard support. But right now the pricing structure does not make sense since the keyboard itself is basically the same price as the budget iPads. And so I can see Apple lowering the price of the regular Magic Keyboards and then offering a Pro version that of course exclusively works with the iPad Pros and gives you additional features like a function row or another port or a pencil holder within the hinge of the keyboards. Suzanne so says, I hope they don't get rid of LiDAR because it's incredibly useful for 3D work and fair point, I did not consider that. And yeah, I guess for that use case, I can see Apple retaining LiDAR on the iPads. Though once again, like the cameras, I do wish that was an optional extra because I am still sure most iPad consumers can live without this. So Andrew Best says, team smaller bezels, and yeah, some of you guys do want smaller bezels with the iPads. And to be honest, I'm not exactly sure why, because the thickness of the bezels right now still looks great. I think the design is perfect as is. But yeah, I guess Apple can shrink them ever so slightly, because I believe the 10.5 inch iPad Pro side bezels are still thinner than the 11 inch iPads. And so yeah, maybe Apple does decrease the bezels ever so slightly with the M2 iPads. So we have another comment saying that they want to see the front facing camera in the middle of the iPads when it's horizontal and yes, this would be a great change. I also want to see this change because many of us use our iPads landscape and so this would be a nice change but I do want to mention that center stage does kind of resolve this since now there's no longer an awkward angle so I don't think Apple's in a rush to move the camera to the horizontal side. And actually thinking about it, Apple does have the magnets for the pencil on that side of the iPad, and so maybe there's no space. Anyways, that's about it guys, but tell me your thoughts regarding these reports in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the above on details regarding the M2 iPad Pros, and on that note, see ya peeps.